Hi, I'm Jordan, and this is my dad, Jim, the plumber. Today we're gonna to answer the question, is why is my dishwasher only partially drained? And we'll tell you even how to fix it yourself. Super easy. Hi, I'm Jordan. I started the Grumpy Plumber because I'm lucky enough to have a dad who's an amazing plumber. He's been a plumber for 48 years. And since I bought my house five years ago, he has saved us tens of thousands of dollars with his experience and his advice. So we started this channel to help people out with some great plumbing advice. And for those who really care about credentials, he's been a master plumber in Michigan, and he's also a C36 plumbing contractor in California. 48 years of plumbing, he knows something. It also makes him a little bit grumpy when he's sharing advice. Don't piss him off. So dad, uh, my dishwasher is only partially draining. Why is that? Well, first, I'm not the Maytag repairman, but usually what it is, there's a drain hose that comes out of the dishwasher and runs into the cabinet in the kit underneath the kitchen sink. It runs into the cabinet, and usually the hose is connected to the garbage disposal, or it's connected to what we call a branch tailpiece that is part of the drain. And if the, dr if the drain hose comes through the lower part of the cabinet and goes up to the garbage disposal, and it's usually like a downhill flow what when you run water too much water in the sink like fills up with water that water will sometimes flow back into the dishwasher okay mm -hmm. nowadays a lot of them, they, the dishwasher manufacturers are putting a loop from for the hose so it can't do that but even old style is it but it'll still do it so in that situation, the dishwasher would be like completely drained, but then all of a sudden you open it and you'll find water in there we'll after, run, after yes. running the sink. Right. You might have ran the sink and the water would go back in the dishwasher. Mm. Another thing too is you can you could take that hose, if you got enough of it, and kind of what we used to do years ago, instead of putting air gaps in, because all, after a while they started leaking and people would want them out. So we take, the, we take the hose from the dishwasher and we come through the bottom of the cabinet or we run it through the top of the cabinet, make a hole up at the top. But you make a loop that goes up to the top of the cabinet, you attach it, then come down into the dishwasher. So you're actually below almost to the bottom of the, like the overflow of the kitchen sink so it doesn't want to run back in there. That is a way to stop it. But Usually there is a loop, or you in our device is called an air gap. Some inspectors like to see air gaps. Well, you know, because somebody told them. But is what they're for is that you go take that hose, you run it into one part of the air gap, and then on the other side of the air gap is another line that goes to the garbage disposal or the drain line. Okay, that is to stop the water from going in. It makes an air break, so it can't run back into the dishwasher. But like I say, after a while they can get to be a real pain. Like they get blocked and that's get why it's blocked. Draining. A lot of people will take, put them in and once the house has like been inspected, they take it out because hmm. they don't want to deal with it. But that's what you do, well, you loop it. What does this look like, this air, this air block? Well, usually it'll be in, your, in the top of your kitchen sink and it'll be a, like a mushroom looking cover or it'll mm -hmm. be a round uh, cover with some notches in it like air holes and in this it. be attached to the plastic hose the drain hose yeah you'll see it it's a device that goes in and attaches to the sink then you, underneath you attach it to the hoses okay on it. but you can look at that so if you're troubleshooting this how do you get access to this drain hose what do you it's have to sitting do? right there clean your cabinet out crawl inside and look and see if it's there and you, you can see where it's flowing you have to direction. pull out your dishwasher at all to get access to it or or not necessarily no no because okay. the dishwasher is right there yeah you leave the dishwasher alone mm. you don't turn the power off or anything like that another thing people will do they'll put a check valve in where it enters into the garbage disposal i think that's a stupid idea because over the years that check valve can get and it stay in an open position and that'll cause water to run back it's easier to take the the the, the hose and run it to the top of the sink and just make a kind of come out of it and go up and make a loop and go back down again and out it's much easier to do. Why put a device in there that down the road is going to cause trouble? So my opinion is check and see how the direction of the hose is running. If that's all that way, everything's fine, then you got a problem with the dishwasher. Hmm, okay. And then you call the maker. So that's like, was that like three or four things? So if your dishwasher is partially draining, it's your plastic drain hose is too low 
in the cupboard. Yep. Right. Too low and causing a direct flow from the garbage disposal to the dishwasher. The bottom okay. of the dishwasher. Or it could be that your air lock, your air what's that called again? Your air gap. Your air gap is plugged or, up yeah. or not installed properly. Right. Well, it wouldn't be installed properly. Okay. It could be plugged. If it's plugged, you're gonna run water all over the sink. Mm -hmm. It's just a device that wouldn't be probably a cause there. But sometimes it's better to eliminate it. You eliminate it and just put a, put the hose up higher, yeah. put a loop in the hose? No, you just put it up higher. You okay. just run it run it up to the bottom of the, the countertop. Okay. Which and is usually or right, do you have to drill a new hole in your cabinet to no, do that or no, no, you just do it up and just over? Do it up all and make mm -hmm. sure it stays up there. Okay. You you know, you can put a clamp up there if you wanted to, or sometimes they're flexible enough, they'll stay up there anyway. Okay. So. And then number three is there could be a check valve on the garbage disposal that's causing it to not drain properly. Yes, it could, it could be, right. it could be, a check valve is made to flow water to flow one direction, okay? But over the years, it might have taken, you know, it might have, you know, uh, uh, kind of rusting out and staying in the open position on it. So that's, that's a, a, a thing too. Mm -hmm. I'd say to eliminate it and put the loop in there and put the drain up higher. Yeah, yeah, the simplest fix. Yes. It'll last the longest. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot, Dad. Okay. All right, so if you have any more questions for the Grumpy Plumber, we greatly appreciate it and leave them in the comments below. Uh, and then also remember to subscribe because why not? It's great to have these plumbing questions answered, right? Save you some money. And hopefully you liked it and push the button. If you didn't like it, ask your barber. <laughs> Maybe he's got a better answer.